Welcome back to our series of training videos devoted to the backup and recovery of Office 365. This video focuses on the backup and recovery of a user's OneDrive, so let's get started. As you remember, Acronis Backup Cloud is natively integrated with Office 365 Enterprise and Business Editions. This integration allows you to perform both full backup of the entire OneDrive of a specific Office 365 tenant and a granular backup of specific files and folders. Moreover, it allows you to recover the entire OneDrive or specific files and folders to the same or different Office 365 tenants. First, we will show you step-by-step -step how to perform full backup of OneDrives for individual users and all users belonging to a specific Office 365 tenant. Then, we will demonstrate for you how to conduct the recovery operations for the user's OneDrive to the same or different Office 365 tenants. We assume that your company has two Office 365 tenants and you registered both tenants in the Backup Management Console. Let's log into the Backup Management Console as the company administrator. Navigate to the section Users, select a desired user, and press the Details button to see whether the OneDrive service is available for that user. Let's create an individual OneDrive backup plan for a single user. Thus, select a user in the list and press the Backup button in the right pop-up panel. In the drop-down list on What to Backup, select OneDrive. In the section Items to Backup, you can select all items or specific files or folders to backup. In addition, you can specify some fine-grained rules to backup only specific files. Alternatively, you can specify the conditions for excluding certain files from the automatic backup operations. For instance, you might want to exclude temporary files or video and audio files from the backup operations. By default, the Acronis Backup Cloud will store your backups in the highly secure Acronis Cloud. Please notice that the OneDrive backup is a resource-consuming operation. Therefore, by default, the Acronis Backup Cloud performs automatic backups once per day to reduce the server load. You can specify the backup retention policy, that is, how long to keep the backups on the server side. You can clean up the old backups by age or number of backups. Alternatively, you can keep the backups indefinitely. Finally, you can enable encryption and protect your backup with a sophisticated password. Press the Apply button to finalize the backup plan. Press the Run Now button to initiate the backup process manually. Along with individual OneDrive backup plans, you can create a group backup plan for all users belonging to the selected Office 365 tenant. In order to create a group backup plan for all users, navigate to All Users and in the right pop-up panel, press the Group Backup button. The process of creating a group backup plan is similar to the individual backup plan. As soon as the group plan is created, it is scheduled to run automatically. Let's have a look at the recovery operations now. In order to perform the OneDrive recovery for a single user, navigate to All Users and in the User List select a desired user. Press the Recovery button. In the right pop-up panel, you can see all the available backups stored in the Acronis Data Center for the selected user. You can filter those recovery points by content, that is, mailboxes, or OneDrive. Let's select OneDrive. For each OneDrive backup, you can perform two types of recovery operations, full OneDrive recovery and granular recovery of individual files and folders. Let's perform the full OneDrive recovery. Press the Recover button and select the entire OneDrive. You can recover the selected OneDrive to the same or different user's OneDrive. 
Moreover, if you have several Office 365 tenants within your organization, you can recover the selected OneDrive to the same or different Office 365 tenants. Finally, along with the OneDrive content, you can recover also sharing permissions of all the files and folders. Press the Start Recovery button to initiate the recovery process. You can allow overwriting the content of an existing OneDrive in the recovery destination if needed. The recovery progress can be traced in the right pop-up panel or under Activities. In the case of granular OneDrive recovery, you can recover individual files or folders. The process of granular recovery is similar to the full recovery. In order to initiate the granular recovery process, press the Recover button and select Files and Folders. You can perform the granular recovery of selected OneDrive entities to the same or different user's OneDrive. Moreover, if you have several Office 365 tenants in your organization, you can recover the OneDrive entities to the same or different Office 365 tenants. Along with files and folders, you can recover also their sharing permissions. You can search for a desired file or folder by its name using the advanced search capabilities. Press the Start Recover button to initiate the recovery process manually. You can allow overwriting the existing OneDrive entities in the recovery destination if needed. The recovery progress can be traced in the right pop-up panel or under Activities. Well, that's it. Are you excited about the capabilities of Acronis Backup Cloud? You have an opportunity to try our easy and efficient and secure data protection solution right now. Just go to our website at www.acronis.com and request a trial account for the Acronis Backup Cloud. Well, have fun.